Let's talk about one of the top cities to live in in Canada. For 10 years, Milton, Ontario was the fastest growing city in the country. Its population has skyrocketed in recent years with people moving left and right. And so today, we're going to talk about why that is. I'll show you all the top rated things to do in Milton, the most popular neighborhoods that people are moving to, and I'm going to tour you around on a map. That way you'll get a full picture of what it's like to live in this epic Toronto suburb and we're going to get into it right now. about living, working, eating, sleeping, playing, the good and the bad of Toronto, Ontario, and the surrounding areas like right here in Milton, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so that you can be the first to know about the current market in Milton, Ontario. My name is Rochelle. For the last seven years, I've been helping people just like you make the move to Toronto, Ontario, and I love it. So as a real estate agent here, I want to help you make that move. And so whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, be sure to give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, or even schedule a Zoom call. And I'll be happy to help you make that smooth move to Toronto, Ontario. So in this video, as I mentioned, I'll be walking you through Milton, Ontario. Let's hop into my computer and let me show you around. <laughs> So location wise, you can see Milton here, which is this red highlighted area, which is just west of Toronto. So that would be about 60 kilometers or an hour drive along the 401. The 401 here being your main highway and closest highway to get anywhere out of town. Pre-pandemic, we did have a lot of commuters working in and out of the city and traveling downtown Toronto via the GO train right over here. Let me just zoom in. That is your Milton GO train and bus station, which takes you to Toronto. Uh, recently, we have seen a shift towards home office spaces, but the GO station is there if you need it. Now, Milton, you can see, is completely... Oop, let me get rid of this. It's completely landlocked, so you're surrounded by all of this greenery. And what's great about that is that all of this natural scenery that you get to take in, Milton is right along the Niagara Escarpment, which is this huge rocky cliff that starts in the States and then makes its way into Canada and right here through Milton. So residents get to enjoy amazing views of this bedrock. There are people who go rock climbing here. They have about 700 acres of hiking and camping spots. I recommend the Vista Trail, which is about one and a half kilometers, and you get three amazing lookout points. One of them being the Pinnacle, which has stairs that take you to the bottom of the escarpment, and then a trail that actually leads you to Crawford Lake, which is another very popular place that people like to see because it is a really rare type of lake, Crawford Lake. It's actually a Merrimictic Lake, which means that its waters don't mix. There's no water turnover in the lower layers so if something falls in for example say corn pollen then it basically just stays perfectly preserved which is really cool and there are actually only less than 40 known Merrimictic lakes in the world so definitely a neat place to check out since one of them happens to be right here in Milton. There's a boardwalk that goes around the entire lake and then next to that you have a restored Indian village. People like to take pictures of that basically speaks to the local history so you can see how our ancestors lived and uh, oh, at the end of the trail, you actually have uh, this beautiful waterfall at the end. There's a fire pit, they provide you wood. And so fun spot to just hang out, bring some s'mores for the kids and take in the scenery. Now, if you're living anywhere here along Milton's west side, that's where you're gonna get the best views of the escarpment, which is around here. But that does come at a price around here in the neighborhoods of Scott and Harrison, where the average price of a single detached home is about 1.5 million dollars but homes with an unobstructed view of the escarpment will easily run you over the two million dollar mark so 
it is at a higher price end, a uh, higher price mark, I should say. But homes or the area just west of Tremaine, which is right over here, is considered protected. So you aren't going to see major developments or high rises that are going to block your view, except right over here right over here at the corner of Derry and Tremaine at the south uh, west corner is where they have the proposed uh, Laurier University that they're going to build there. I'll put L for Laurier. But if you actually move just right over here, a little further down is actually the Madame National Cycling Center, which is Canada's only uh, velodrome or cycling dome that actually meets international cycling standards. So if you want to get a better picture of this neighborhood and some of the more popular neighborhoods that people are moving to, everything from starter homes on a budget to estate homes with a view then check out this video that rhymes off the top seven neighborhoods in Milton you get neighborhood demographics amenities nearby and a drive-by tour of the home so you can actually see the houses up close and personal get an idea of what the neighbors are like schools in the area safety ratings also that you get a good feel for what it's like to actually live in Milton now just east of here is downtown Milton aka Old Milton right over here you're gonna find a lot of century homes with wide lots built in the 1800s or even small wartime bungalows um, all the way up to mansions but because a lot of the homes here are older you're getting a lot of people who are moving in that are either renovating um, updating their home just to make them feel more modern so this area is great if you're a handyman or if you're a handy woman um, or if you've got a good budget for renos but we're also seeing a lot of infills too where a lot of investors are basically just tearing down homes completely and then building custom homes on that same lot so it's a really diverse mix of housing but you know what really makes downtown Milton shine is its main street which is called main street here at the intersection of Main and Martin you've got a good kilometer stretch at least of restaurants and shops you know you can have a drink on a patio you can see here a number of different places like Pasqualino I Heart Boba, Sushi Ya Japan, Lopanda, Pizza 360. You can even take your kids over here to Rotary Park. They've got a playground and a splash pad, which is nice during the warmer months. Um, or just above that, over here at Mill Pond, you can just chill out, read a book, be the birds. It's all good and lively right here in the heart of Milton. <laughs> now, right here next to Old Milton downtown, is the neighborhood of Bronte Meadows. So Bronte Meadows is actually home to the Milton Hospital, which is right around here. And then scattered around the neighborhood, like here, here, you can see some random pockets of shopping, specialty food stores. Um, you can see, for example, Champs Family Entertainment Center, Memphis Barbecue, there are medical and professional office spaces. Now you definitely want to check out La Rose Bakery. They have a very tasty penny, penne and sausage dish that I tried the last time I was there. It's, uh, you can take it out, it's really tasty. But I'm actually gonna zoom out here and show you another attraction that's really popular with locals. So Glen Eden Conservation here is actually home to Kelso Lake. They have a beautiful beach um, that's more or less split into two because on one side you've got swimming and then on the other side you've got a lot of people who are on their canoes, kayaks, paddle boards or paddle boats and they even have a rental shop here where you can rent any of these watercraft in case you don't have any on your own. And then We've also got the Glen Eden, um, where you've got downhill skiing, it's snowboarding, a lot of things that you can do in the winter months. So I think we're coming across a really main theme here where for anyone who wants to be outdoors and be one with nature, Milton is definitely the place for you. <laughs> Now further out here, and also popular with locals and people coming in from out of town, is Spring Ridge Farm. It's a family-owned farm that you can visit where, aside from the animals, they have chickens and 
goats that you can feed. Um, but there's also a wagon ride that you can take to a corn stalk maze, hay bales that you can climb, tube slides. You know, I would honestly say that this place is geared more towards toddlers and kids. Families usually spend a whole day there. Um, but it is right next to the escarpment where you can honestly get the most wicked views from the farm. They have this huge hill that you can climb that gives you great views of not only just the terrain, but a good chunk of Milton as a whole. You can kind of see as uh, from a bird's eye view. It's beautiful, but it does get busy on the weekend. So just be mindful of that. But if you do check it out, make sure that you take home one of their fresh blueberry pies from their market bakery it tastes like heaven and if you do have a family then dorset park over here this is a neighborhood let me just zoom in it attracts a lot of families because it is a close to a bunch of amenities because you're close to old Middleton downtown but it's also home to a lot of these cul-de-sacs that you can see here or dead end streets which is good for kids because you're not getting a lot of street traffic just people who live on your court and you're also getting a good range of different houses and different prices um, to suit a range of budgets and you're also right in between highway 401 and the milton go station which is right over here so this location or this area is perfect for commuters as well and then this area here is the neighborhood of Timberley right next door, right in between Main Street and Nipissing. The city has actually um, zoned as an urban growth area, which means that, you know, you can build apartments, for example, up to four stories high here. So if you were looking for a smaller space, then this place would be ideal. You are um, close to Milton Mall as well, which... Um, Okay, so Milton Mall isn't the most exciting mall in the area. It is smaller and older than you might be used to in bigger cities, but you do have access to a bunch of amenities, um, everyday conveniences. You can see a bunch of banks like RBC and BMO. You can see Fit for Less, um, a bunch of dining options. There's a Lowe's. Um, so in case you don't feel like cooking dinner, then this mall is close and easy. And then also close by, if I just zoom out here, you've actually got the first Ontario Art Centre where you've got a bunch of arts programs, shows and exhibits. They're actually closed right now because of the pandemic, but right next door, or actually in the same building I should say, is the Milton Main Branch Library, which is actually one of three public libraries in Milton. And then right across the street is the Milton Leisure Center, right over here, which has a gym and two pools, but not to be confused with the Milton Sports Center, by the way, which is right down over here, closer to the hospital. The Milton Sports Center has outdoor beach volleyball, a bunch of hockey rinks, a skate park. You can even take swimming lessons there as well. And so all in all, Milton, Ontario offers a bunch of activities for families, singles and couples alike. You're about an hour away from Toronto, but still have that hustle and bustle in areas like Milton um, or Main Street um, and tons of amenities and dining options to choose from. Uh, if you are looking for a little more quiet, then there are tons of neighborhoods along the borders of Milton where you're surrounded by all this green space and natural wonders that other people travel long distances to see, like Rattlesnake Point, Crawford Lake, the escarpment, but that residents of Milton get to enjoy out of their own backyard. A bunch of neighborhoods to choose from, like I said, a bunch of houses or housing to choose from, whatever to suit your budget. So whether you're moving in 90 days or 90 days, just give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, or even schedule a Zoom call with me. All of my contact is down below in the description. We can hop on a Zoom call. I'll show you around just like this. Also, you get a good feel for what it's like to live here in Milton or anywhere in the greater Toronto area. I would be happy to help you make that smooth move to Toronto. But until then, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really does help me to continue to help people just like you looking to make a move to the area. And check out this video as well. It rhymes off all the pros and cons of living in Milton. You definitely want to see all the negatives of this town. Not every place is perfect as we know, but this will give you that full picture of what it's like to live here in Milton. So definitely check it out. Thanks for watching everyone and I will see you there. Oh,